on Saturday, a pro-Palestinian protest group stormed the UBC bookstore and barricaded the exits, forcing the store to close. The RCMP says at the request of campus security, they were called in to ensure public safety. In a statement released by the university's director of affairs, the schools condemning the actions of the protesters, saying Saturday's incident is not acceptable, and UBC will be working with the RCMP and legal counsel to consider its next steps. The university says about 30 protesters occupied the UBC bookstore, while 70 to 80 protesters surrounded the outside of the building. And on Monday afternoon, there was a notable presence of campus security outside the store. We demand UBC cut ties with three Israeli universities that are complicit in the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. City News reached out to the protesters at the UBC encampment, but no one was available to comment on Saturday's incident. This UBC student was on campus when the protesters barricaded the store. On Saturday, I know that I walk by the bookstore, on cam which is the center of campus. I know they are like, shouting out some slogan and try to attract people's eye to see what's going on and what they are speaking for. So I feel like, yes, it's very free here in Canada and people can speak what they want. The encampment at McKinnis Field is now entering its third week. Students here say the demonstration is hard to ignore. I'm neutral about it. I think it's good in the sense that it's educational to a lot of people who haven't been paying much attention to the issue. and. Um, maybe potentially the, uh, the money side involved with uh, UBC's uh, endowment fund. After what happened Saturday, the university says it will be considering all options in the days ahead. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.